All right, so today we're gonna test out a new toy. We got ourselves a little squirty boy here. Little 320 penises per square inch, which I'm sure is pretty weak. Um, it's only an 18 volt, so you shouldn't expect much anyways. But uh, the real reason for buying this is kind of just general small cleanup projects, car washing, and the fact that it can pull from a bucket and you don't have to have a water source. So that's kind of cool. Um, inside the, uh, the box here, I've already kind of got it figured out in a bucket. I have actually tested it once already, but we're just going to kind of go through this thing. Um, my car wash bucket will set the car wash soap aside. We're not going to use that. It's kind of cool that it all fits in the bucket here like this. It's kind of nice. So here we've got the squirty boy with the uh, battery compartment, the uh, watertight gasket. Not too bad. It's got a little, uh, little lockout button. Oh, I don't really know why. Um, and then of course the wand, they actually give you the wand itself has three different nozzles built in that you can rotate. That's kind of slick. And they actually give you an extension piece. So like they show on the box here, you can run the full extension, but you don't have to. You can actually just run the half extension. In this case, I'm probably gonna run the full extension for the test that I'm gonna do anyways. And uh, it's got a fairly nice long little hose. It's got a little floater ball here and a little uh, pickup siphon. Pretty simple stuff. It does come with um, a nice little mesh bag, which isn't too bad. Um, it actually comes with a hose adapter here so you can feed this from a garden hose and a bunch of other useless fucking paperwork. And then this thing, which... Oh, I suppose that's probably for sucking a cleaner out of a bottle, maybe? I guess I'd have to read the instructions, but I'm not about to. Um, <laughs> the funny thing is I looked at the instructions and it doesn't tell you anything about priming the fucking thing. And it really wasn't taking a prime worth a damn. So I actually used the garden hose and tried to push water up to it. And I purposely did my best to make sure that this hose doesn't drain completely. That way, um, hopefully it kind of self primes. So we're gonna see, um, I tested this out a few days ago and it's been sitting since. So it's kind of a good test as well, just to see um, how well is it going to self-prime back up and function and whatnot. And what we're going to test it on is I've got a couple of really nice grimy fucking floor mats here. Get these out of the fucking trailer. Plop them right here on the fucking ground. And, uh, you know, she's a little wore through. You know, but that's all right. She's been beat and hard as a rock in spots from salt and cum and God knows what else. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that literally is rock fucking hard. But we'll see if this kind of cleans these up a little bit. And I'm not even going to scrub them. This is just going to be the lazy clean. Just using the pressure washer and uh, some soap. So let's get our bucket prepped. So I'm just going to use some original Blue Dawn here. A nice, healthy amount of it. It'll help if I point the camera in the right spot. Yeah, sure. Why not? Stuff's cheap. I still got some in the bottle for home use. Maybe. I'll just... It'll fall, but that's okay. And then, obviously, cold water, because it's the garden hose. And I'm going to do my best to make sure it doesn't froth up too much here. Once I get some water in here, we're going to plunge the hose down in so we don't froth it up, but I can at least mix up the soap. So we're gonna get, uh, it's a five gallon bucket. We're probably gonna get about, I'm gonna probably pump up about four gallons into here. So it should only take a second. All right, so now that I got about, I'd say four and a half gallons, maybe of water with some Dawn. I'm gonna get this thing set up. Gonna poop that guy right in there and just kind of, I don't know, make sure it's submerged and call her good. In fact, I already see air pushing through the hose here. Just from shoving that in there. I guess that's true, we could always self bleed this thing too, seeing as how we are on a downhill slope. Might actually start to pull on its own. Let that sit there and grab a battery. So I got a nice six amp hour battery in here. The nice thing is it's got enough space to hold the bigger battery. 
simple latching mechanism. And then for the wand, they got a nice little push button release right on the top here. Pretty simple. Line up the arrows, and there you go. So, let's see what we got here. Oh. Starting. There we go. That's about probably max pressure there. So, I'm just going to go ahead and get a bit of a soap fill in here. And we're just going to start going to town and we'll see how it comes out here. Alright, so I got a nice full bucket of clean water. I'm going to have to run it a little bit to get the soap out of the line, but then we're just going to start rinsing these things off. Yeah. Obviously, you got to be a little patient with the priming, I guess. To get the air out of the line. And you can see some of the bubbles. It's starting to go now. Oh, yeah. And for a rinse. You can still see a lot of dirt just lifting out of here even as I'm doing the rinse. It's kind of handy to have these things on a bit of a hill so that the water kind of blows off. But it takes a bit. I'll probably do about half a bucket per mat, you know, and I'll go two directions. Well, the bucket's all about out of water. I could probably keep going. I keep seeing more and more dirt. But I mean, I've pumped two buckets of water through this thing. And uh, let's see where we're at here on the battery. Yeah, she's still got about half her charge left in, so that's pretty good. I mean, it's a six amp hour battery, so it's got some decent push to it. So I think what I'm gonna do is give these just a general, general rinse off with the hose just to get some extra loose stuff off. And then we'll see how they really do once they're dry. That'll be the real test. All right, well, as far as the floor mats are concerned, we'll know more tomorrow. Um, I'm going to let these things dry good, 24-hour period. But overall, I think they're going to come out not too bad. I'm sure they'd come out better with a drill brush and a little bit of scrubbing. This is gross. Fantastic. Yuck. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know, the lettering is more lively, which is cool. Um, but I mean, like I said, this is going to be, it's kind of a laziness test, right? I mean, this is no scrubbing. It's just using this hundred dollar pressure washer. Now I went ahead and orchestrated another quick test, you know, purposes I think this thing would be useful for is, well, what about pressure washing engines, you know, and this thing has got some pretty, pretty thick sludge on it. So I just put some water in the bucket. I'm not going to use any chemicals on it. Let's just blast this oil pan and, and kind of see see how it comes out and see if we get anywhere with it. We could try a different setting too and see. Oh, got us got a prime again because I just refilled the bucket. There we go. And I will say. As far as getting up close is concerned, I mean, we are able to blast through the crud, which is nice. Let's see if we can blast through a little more here, huh? You know, depending upon the angle we're going at here. Like I said, we're not using any cleaning chemical or nothing on here, but I mean, we blasted right through that stuff. So it ain't too bad. And so there are uh, three different heads, like I said. So we have a rinse head, which is just, 
you know, your kind of general cone pattern. Um, but let's try this turbo head. It's got a little picture of a focus, you fuck. Thank you. A little twister action going there. Lord knows if that's any good. Got a little spinny doodle going there. Well, you know, that ain't too bad, actually. So I feel like it's just not as focused, you know? Probably really good for washing the car, but I mean, I can't imagine being terribly good for detail work. So we're just gonna go back to that 15 degree here. Let's get in these little crevices. Oh yeah. Not too bad, you know? Considering there's, there's nothing on here to degrease this or nothing. But I mean, it's getting under there. I mean, that really isn't too bad. You know, considering this tool is only $100, I see a lot of practicality to it. It's not going to be the tool you're going to use to wash your driveway or nothing, or any big jobs, because it's just not powerful enough. It's a very low-power tool. You know, that's where you need the gas-powered one. But for a simple, regular washing of the car, maybe cleaning some engine parts, things like cleaning those floor mats, maybe cleaning the floor in the garage, this thing is great. And actually, I can especially see it being great for someone who maybe doesn't have a garden hose. Maybe someone who lives in an apartment for years like I did. You know, you can fill up a five-gallon bucket in your bathtub, and you can get a decent amount of stuff done. So really, I mean, it ain't too bad. You know, for car washing, it's, it's, it's low power, but, you know, she'll blast the bird poop off just fine. And I mean, that ain't too bad. So... For a hundred bucks, I like it. I think it's pretty slick and I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it. Cause I can also bring it up north and uh, you know, I can filter out well water, but either way, you know, I'm not, I'm not necessarily sucking up. Cause the nice thing is if you hook a regular pressure washer up to your well water feed, unless if it's filtered well, you still get sand particulates and whatnot going through. But if you fill a bucket like this, and, you know, let it sit for a few minutes, most of that sand is going to settle. So, presumably, it'll be relatively okay. I mean, there's a bit of a filter down here. I was like, huh, wonder what that does. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, all in all, 100 bucks, not bad. We'll see what those floor mats look like uh, once they're good and dry. And then uh, we'll have a pretty good assessment in that regard. Well, there's still a slight dampness to them because I've just had to lay them on the floor in the garage. It's been too shitty out and weather-wise to be out in the sun and get properly dry, but this looks pretty damn good, I'd say. Not too bad. Got all the salt out of there. What not? She's still a little on the crusty side. But yeah, I imagine if I scrub them real good, they'll probably turn out even better. I brought home another set of kind of nasty ones that were in storage. I mean, they're almost brown, they're so bad. Maybe I'll hit those with the scrub brush and see how that looks. But all in all, for the lazy amount of work, that's pretty good, I'd say. I'm pretty happy with that. Not too bad. $100 Ryobi pressure washer. Why not?